Welcome back uh, with an update on the aftermath. Um, so, Fort Myers area is, well, I think a quote in here is saying it's gone. Uh, some people floated on freezers to escape. Um, which is a big old issue there, like, it, and mostly for the fact that you should have evacuated in the first place, and you want to be in this boat. But it's like, yeah, it's horrific, uh, particularly hard by Ian. Fort Myers area is in, in southwest Florida is in shambles. And no, this is CNN. Fight me. I don't care what the source is because you can't, like, make weather fake or anything like that. Um, it's devastating on all political fronts. If you're trying to do that, you shouldn't even be on this channel trying to make politics out of Mother Nature. Anyways, Fort Myers Mayor Kevin Anderson told CNN's John Berman Friday morning as the city's, at the city's devastated marina. Its boats strewn and concrete slabs ripped from the water and dropped onto land. Look. At some of these docks, they could weigh as much of a ton, and they'd been thrown around like they were nothing. Um, large boats thrown around like they were toys. Uh, Fort Myers Beach, which sits on a seven-mile-long island along the Gulf of Mexico, saw total devastation, catastrophic. Um, a town councilman Dan Allers said Friday, "The those are are words that come to mind when you see what." to see. Um, he also said that pictures show that the damage but don't show the magnitude of exactly what it is. Um, so this is, I guess, something there. Okay. Um, one of 58. What? What do you mean one of 58? Okay. Lee County Sheriff's Office in Friday morning. Um, update called Fort Myers Beach impassable. We hear you. We understand you are blood ones on the island. The sheriff office said, no noting that it's not safe to drive there. Bicycles cannot even make it through clear pathways. Um, helicopter footage showed debris and vacant lots where homes and other buildings have been swept away in Fort Myers Beach, where only residents were being allowed to drive over the bridge Friday morning. Talk about no structure left. You're talking about homes thrown into the bay. This is a long-term fix. It is life-changing. Florida's Division of Emergency Management Director Kevin Guthrie said Friday an unknown number of bodies were found in a house in Lee County. Um, crews will need water to, to recede to, and special equipment to learn more. Also Friday, DeSantis said Lee County has asked for support from FEMA after experiencing water main break at their county water utility, which means that the county does not have water at this point. I mean, it has water, just not the right kind of water. Um, Bobby Pratt said he has never, he has lived in Fort My Myers in his entire life, never seen anything like this before. Um... His roof, porch, and fence were damaged. In the city of Fort Myers, rescuers have reached more than 200 people in the area, and fire officials believe that there are no remaining people to be rescued. Um, and I hope that is the reason. For, I, I hope that's because of a good thing, as in, like, there's no one dead left to find. Um, but I could be wrong. Power lines and trees are down. So conditions remain dangerous, and the city is trying to clean up. We'd love for people to stay home. It's not safe out here, out there. Um, Allers told told CNN on Thursday night that his town was destroyed. Say ninety percent of the island is pretty much gone, unless you have a high-rise condo or a new concrete home that is built to the same standards today. Your home is pretty much gone. 
Allers told CNN that many people in a town struggled to get to higher ground amid the storm surge, heard stories of people getting in freezers and floating the freezers to another home, and being rescued by higher homes. Every home pretty much on the beach is gone. Some of the homes on the side of the streets are completely gone and there's nothing but a hole with water. Allers evacuated to higher ground during the storm, later dis discovered that his own home was lost. Right, he pleaded for federal assistance. I don't know if anyone in Washington can hear this. Yeah, they're more focused on Ukraine. So. Yeah. And City of Fort Myers is responding constantly. Liz Bell Matthews, spokesperson for the City of Fort Myers, said on CNN Friday that, that safety... Workers are responding constantly, and it's been literally nonstop. She had many re residents are struggling. The n none are reported it's stranded. There's no internet or electricity, and many sections of the city have no water. We're still just moving forward and trying to make sure that we're there when they need us. Shelters are open, including a large one that's not being used, though, she said. The resources are there. They're still open. We still have resources at those shelters. And that's where we're getting people to go at this time to make sure that they're safe in their home. Well, if their home is just not inhabitable. Um, and that's that. And there's been reports of the death toll uh -huh. showing up, soaring up towards 50. Um, and that includes like three or four people in Cuba. Um, and I'd say it's even higher considering there was a Cuban migrant boat that capsized um, in the storm with like 25 people on it so death toll will easily go into the triple digits sadly um, but yeah and Ian's not done yet because it's still in the Car it just made landfall in the Carolinas and it's going to cause even more destruction and just there's so much going on um, so yeah, that does seem to be it for right now. Link will be in the description box below. Stay safe out there. Bye.